He's a veterinarian from Framingham, Massachusetts. We know you'll enjoy meeting Dr. James R. Sawyer and his cat named Inky. Inky? Hey, I'll give you something, so pay attention. Ready? Big. That's good. Oh, the stool's loose. Big. There you go. Yeah. Jump up. Up. Inky. Up. Come on. Up. Inky. Up. Inky. Up. Up. Come on. All the way. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now, lie down. Inky. Lie down. Go on. Go on. Daisy Kitty. Go on. Lie down. Good boy. Come on. All the way. Okay, now, Inky, I want you to roll over. Roll over. Inky, roll over. Go on. Inky. Inky. Roll over. Roll back. Come on, roll back. There you go. Contestant number four is a housewife from Monroe, Michigan. Her name is Sharon Muth, and her tiny terrier is named Bonnie. Oh, very good. Now I want you to back up a little bit. Very good. Now lay down. Come on, lay down. Now can you crawl for everybody? Oh, very good. Okay, Bonnie, come on over here. I want you to walk for everybody. Can you walk? Walk. Oh, Bonnie, every dog has to jump through a hoop. There isn't a dog in the world don't jump through a hoop, right? Bonnie, over here. Come over here and pay attention to me, all right? Can you jump through the hoop? Are you sure? All right, over. Back again. Now let's do it the hard way. Oh, good girl. Now, I'm going to get her this time. Why don't you come over here? All right, now, Bonnie, this is a small hoop. You think you're so smart. Can you jump through this? Oh, sure. Let's go. Can you jump through the hoop? Oh, yes, you can. This is Bonnie. One of Bonnie's most difficult tricks. Can you come over here? Today, didn't you? Back up. No, this is hard to do. Mail it. Put it in. Oh, that's right. <laughs> there it is. Bonnie Bow. From Los Angeles, where he works in the dairy, please welcome Augustino Alves and his cockapoo Busha. She doesn't get the reward, she stops. have reached a decision, and they have chosen a winner. B, Loretta, Barbara, what about it? Our winner is Bonnie, ah. owned and uh, trained by Sharon Moot. Ah, oh, Bonnie! Congratulations. We'd like to present you with a first place prize of $1,000. And in your name, we will be matching that award and donating $1,000 to an animal charity of your choice. Every champion deserves a gold cup, and this is the gold cup for you and your amazing animal. And I'll keep it till you put the dog down. <laughs>
The great all-American workshop sale is back. Special offers on name brand tools you want most for your home and car. Like this free SK Thumbwheel Ratchet set. When you buy any one of these American-made sets, the soccer sets feature the famous SK Reversible Ratchet. Your choice of SK sets metric or standard, only $29.99. And get this $15.99 SK Thumbwheel Ratchet set free. So don't wait. Visit a participating hardware home center store now and save at the great All-American Workshop Sale. Hey, some smile. Thanks. Brushing with Crest? The smile's got to last a lifetime. Can't afford cavities. Figured you for an exciting stripe or gel. Toothpaste don't excite me. Beautiful checkups. That excites me. Yeah, but... Crest works. Has more evidence. Evidence? In my lifetime alone, Crest Floristan has prevented more cavities than all other toothpaste combined. Impressive, but... Uh, brush up on the evidence. You end up with Crest on your brush. More evidence? Great checkups. That's exciting. Why is it that time always passes so quickly when you're having a good time? Well, we'll look forward to being with you again next week, so you join us, won't you? We'd like to extend our thanks to our wonderful special guests, Kathy Lee Crosby of That's Incredible and Loretta Swit from NASH. Next week, you'll help us honor Pete, the undercover pit bull, responsible for breaking up a particularly vicious criminal ring in New York. We'll tell you the delightful story of a Canadian couple who have devoted their lives to the care and rehabilitation of owls. The problem of pet overpopulation is becoming more critical every day, but there are also people who are dealing with that problem with dedication and devotion. All that and much, much more when we meet again to share and enjoy those amazing animals. Until then, good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night and thanks. This is David Hartman, the life of opera great Maria Callas, and a look at a tax revolt by some Michigan auto workers tomorrow on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, see a karate expert attempt to break an arrow flying past him at 130 miles an hour. A life-saving robot and people who died and lived to reveal what it was like on That's Incredible. Then on a special two-hour dynasty, Blake Carrington attacks his wife and Claudia confronts Crystal about her affair with Matthew. Dynasty. Now stay tuned for Miracle on Ice on the Sunday night movie following an ABC News Brief next. An ABC News Brief brought to you by Pepperidge Farm Layer Cake. Now Tom Jarrett. Good evening, Black... Amazing animals. Until then, good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night and thanks. This is David Hartman. Tomorrow, Rita Jenrett talks about her marriage to Abscam's John Jenrett, and later this week, Diana Ross on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, a seven-year-old karate champ is just one amazing youngster among many who will thrill you on That's Incredible, a special edition of those incredible kids. Now stay tuned for the Great American Heart Test on a special Sunday night edition of 2020 next, followed by the television premiere of Norma Ray on the ABC Sunday Night Movie. Monday on Dynasty, bankruptcy crashes down on Blake Carrington. We're all going to be out of business. Just how far will he go to survive? Is it legal? And will Crystal's forbidden desire force her to betray Blake? I love you. On Dynasty, tomorrow. Good evening. Prisoners at Walpole threatened to stage a work stoppage over their grievances, but the warden says they are making progress in talks with inmates. A teenage girl is stabbed to death in Springfield while waiting for a bus. Police arrested a suspect nearby. And Boston police are on the lookout for seven women who let themselves out of the women's detention center in Boston. Most of them were being held on prostitution charges. More on Reaganomics from the president's economic advisors tonight. News, sports, and weather, too, on New Center 5's Late Report. 
I needed the mileage of a Toyota Cressida, but it didn't have enough room. What I needed was the room. Spending cuts. Can, uh, Senate Minority uh, Leader Byrd said today that the Democrats will attempt to cooperate with the new administration. I'd say for the most part, the president's program is good, and we ought to support it, and we will support it, the most part. Other prominent Democrats said much the same thing on national television last night. The Congress will go uh, and help the president make these major spending cuts. I think the Congress will support his initiative to try to change the direction of which we were going in our government spending. But if Democrats will go along with spending cuts, they are clearly hostile to many of the president's tax cutting well, we proposals. And that proposal is inflationary. It will increase the budget deficit. It is not fair and equitable to the lower and middle income people. I think at the very most, the Congress should consider a one-year approach, but the massive three-year across the board individual reduction in tax rates is just too, too great a gamble, I think, for this country to take at this time. Some Democrats say that with their help, Congress could pass up to 75% of President Reagan's budget-cutting proposals. But those same Democrats warn that when it comes to tax cuts, the president could face a much more difficult battle. Steve Shepard, ABC News, Capitol Hill. Also in Washington today, Defense Department officials said they expect to see an increase in military and economic aid for the government of El Salvador, but no large-scale use of U.S. troops there. Monday, the State Department will release a white paper on that deeply troubled Central American country. The paper will give the administration's view on where a lot of the trouble is coming from. Jack Smith has more. According to the report, arms bought by the Soviet Union from its client states have been shipped to Cuba and from there through Nicaragua into El Salvador in a calculated effort to topple the government there. The report's conclusion is the same as the one Secretary of State Haig gave Allied ambassadors last week, that the administration's most urgent objective now is to stop this flow of arms. The report, though, does not say how this should be done. However, the administration is already on record as stating that if the arms keep coming, relations with those who supply them will suffer. The administration is also expected to send more aid to the government of El Salvador, and it's considering sending in military advisors as well. According to a Pentagon assessment, the Salvadoran army is woefully inept. According to sources, it would be hard to send more military aid now without also sending in U.S. military advisors for tactical training. As one official told ABC News today, there's really no way around it. The possibility is rich in implications, and Secretary of State Haig has already had to assure allied governments that the U.S. has no intention of getting into another Vietnam. Jack Smith, ABC News, the State Department. A federal judge has approved a tentative $25 million settlement of a class action suit stemming from the Three Mile Island nuclear accident. Eligible to collect are people who lived or worked near the plant on or after the accident. You probably think you see two dogs here. You don't. Just one. This is a puppy. You don't treat a puppy like a dog. The dog gets adult dog food. The puppy gets puppy food puppy chow brand puppy food. Why? Because puppies need a lot more nutrition than fully grown dogs. And Purina puppy chow has the extra nutrition they need, and they need it for a full year. So don't treat your puppy like a dog. Give him the extra nutrition of Purina puppy chow. About the time your fun is running down or done for, remember the battery that makes the fun last. Rayovac Alkaline. Laboratory tests prove that in toys, tape recorders, radios, games, and many calculators...